In this video, we are going to talk about external fertilization in sea urchin. External fertilization means the fertilization of the egg and the sperm will occur outside the body. So the eggs and the sperms are released in the environment such as in the water. In the first step of external fertilization, this is the egg that has been released from the body. The egg, which is a cell, has egg membrane, which is covered by another membrane called vitaline membrane. And outside the vitaline membrane, there is egg jelly, which is also called corona radiata. This layer, the egg jelly, releases a molecule known as resect molecule, which will attract the sperms towards the egg. So how will it attract the sperms? So this is a sperm. The head of the sperm has acrosome and nucleus and the body uh, after the head, the body and tail. On the head of the sperm, there is a receptor for the resect molecule. This receptor is known as receptor guanyl cyclase. This receptor will bind with resect molecule. The binding of resect to the receptor will cause entry of calcium inside the sperm and also it will increase the production of ATP which will also increase the motility that is the movement of the sperm. So due to the resect molecule the sperm motility increases and it reaches near the egg. Now the sperm has reached near the egg. In the next step there comes another molecule which is present on the egg jelly. This molecule is known as fertilizing and a different molecule that is anti-fertilizing is present on the head of the sperm. So the fertilizing and anti-fertilizing when they come close to each other they coagulate they cause agglutination that means the sperms will stick to the egg it will stick to the egg jelly layer. Now when the sperm is sticking on the egg jelly layer now comes the third step. Another molecule which is also present on the egg jelly which is a saccharide which is a sulfated polysaccharide. This molecule will interact with a receptor which is present on the head of the sperm. This receptor is known as phospholipase C receptor. This receptor will bind to the polysaccharide and will cause the acrosome to fuse with the cell membrane of the sperm head which will cause the release of the acrosomal material towards the egg. So in the fourth step the acrosomal material will be released from the sperm. The acrosomal material contains some chemicals which will digest the egg jelly layer. These chemicals include lysine, hyaluronidase, etc. These chemicals will digest the egg jelly layer of the egg. Now the egg jelly layer is already digested, so the sperm now can interact with the green layer here, that is the vitaline membrane which is surrounding the plasma membrane of the egg. The acrosome vesicle is empty but on the wall of the acrosome, there are some proteins present. These proteins are called bindin protein. In the next step, the acrosomal wall along with the bindin protein will be pushed towards the egg vitaline membrane by actin filaments so that the bindin protein can interact with the vitaline membrane of the egg. On the vitaline membrane of the egg, there is a receptor present for the bindin protein of the sperm. So this receptor called EBR that is egg bindin receptor which will receive the bindin proteins coming from the acrosomal wall. So EBR will interact with bindin protein and this interaction of bindin protein with the vitaline membrane will cause the fusion of the plasma membrane of the egg and the sperm. 
this will cause the transfer of male nucleus inside the egg cell. Later, these two nucleus will fuse with each other and it will make a zygote. The process of fertilization ends here. The full page photographs will be available in the Instagram and Facebook page and the link will be in the description and also the notes will be available in the link given in the description. Thank you.